This week, there has been a lot of talk online around the tool Framer and how this could potentially be replacing our jobs as web designers with its new AI functionality. So I wanna be looking at the promo video that Framer has created and yeah, just basically dissect it, try and understand it, see what this means for us as web designers and just perhaps give you some reassurance to see whether our jobs are at risk or not. Let's have a look. Okay, so for over a decade, we've tried to get Framer to work for you. So, I mean, this tool's been around for a while. Maybe that's, does that suggest that it's not quite picked up in the way that they'd, they'd hoped? I mean, I hadn't heard of this until maybe a month or so ago, and, and certainly this week. It's, it wouldn't be a go-to tool for me. Maybe that's the problem. It's not a go-to tool for many others, and that's something that they're looking to change. I mean, a decade, 10 years, long time, so it's been around a while. Uh, let's go back. Let's let's start this again. So it writes, designs, and builds. Okay. Well, I, I guess with when we look at AI, uh, we've got ChatGPT and other AI tools like Jasper that can write. Okay, that's that's been able to do that for a while. Designing. Um, I feel like this is something that's getting better. You know, we've got Mid Journey, we now have Adobe Firefly. And although it can create images, I feel like there's still a long way to go with the way that it can produce, uh, you know, pro real visual websites. I don't think it's, I haven't seen that yet. We can see uh, kind of mock-ups of sites, um, but, but nothing too crazy. And building, Building recently saw, you know, we've got AI coming with Webflow, we've got AI in Elementor these days, and you can you can ask it to build you things, it will write code. Yo. Yo. What was that? So we're on to prompts, because there's an example there of a cool prompt, um, or at least what it's suggesting, a personal page from Matt Perry, a photographer in Amsterdam. Nice, all right, let's just carry on. Wow, that was cool. That is that is a slick video. Wow, that I mean, visually that all looks really impressive. Okay, now I haven't yet used this, so I can't speak for how impressive it really is. But the the, the video is really kind of demonstrating how potentially powerful this is. Now, there's a key thing there. Um, let's let's get back. AI generated, human curated. Right. So this is called Start With AI. Uh, anyone that's that's worrying that their jobs might be being phased out, okay, this certainly isn't going to do that. But what this could act as is a new tool within your workflow to really help you get the ball rolling, get started, things like that. It's saying human curated. So we're, as a human, there still needs to be that human element, the facilitator, the, the service delivery manager, whatever whatever you want to label yourself, it still needs a designer to make sure that everything is the way that it needs to be. I mean, these are running off prompts as well. Typically, the average business owner maybe isn't that well-versed with AI and specifically prompts. Uh, I think prompts are really important. You need to know what you want to input in order to know what you want to output. So yeah, human created, so AI generated, human created. This doesn't mean that it's going to replace our jobs just yet. So that's, that's a really positive note. That's not what this tool is looking to do, but carry on, let's go. It looks like you can shuffle the entire design that it's is presented to you. So if you're not happy with what it's looking like, you can just hit a button and it will refresh it, which is pretty neat. And also if there are elements that you do like and there's some that you don't, you can take those those elements that you don't like and you can shuffle that. We can shuffle color combos as well, which is nice. That, that's, that's nice. I mean, it looks like already from what I can see, there, there are some limitations on it and this is quite simplistic, but certainly as a starting point, this is looking good. Oh 
Okay, so it's said that you are the art director. All right, so you are still, as a human being, you are the director of this project. This is just a tool that is going to facilitate the, the production of a website. And whether you're using Framer end to end or whether you do look to implement something like this within your workflow to get the ball started or get the ball rolling, shall I say, to get some inspiration, it can very much do that. You now maybe have the opportunity to produce a few different varied designs and send those over to the client for initial feedback before you move into a more bespoke approach, um, whether that is through design or whether you just take this design and you build it in your own tool. You know, maybe you don't want to be using Framer, maybe you do want to use WordPress. If you are anything like me, I still will be using WordPress. I don't think I'll be moving away from it anytime soon. If you're a Webflower, maybe you want to continue using that or if you use Squarespace. Um, I mean, if you're using Squarespace, that's up to you. Um, but yeah, personal copywriter as well. So it's got a lot of what looks like chat GPT functionality in the sense that you can give it text prompts and you can have it write your copy for you. Brilliant, the same tool, Jasper does that and plenty of other tools do it as well. But that's now integrated directly into this, which is pretty neat because not only is it spitting out a design for you, it's it's writing all the copy for you based on your prompt. And then you can go in and you can ask it to change any of the copy that you want, which is real neat. So not only can you produce a design really quickly, you can actually write the copy. So you don't need a copywriter, okay? Sorry, all those copywriters out there. Um, but you can certainly send something with real live copy over to the client for initial feedback, whether they are writing the copy themselves or whether you are supplying the copy. There is something there. You don't no longer need to rely on Lorem Ipsum in order to, for that design filler text to make it look uh, close to a visual representation as to what it would look like if it was built. So far, so good. My personal mission and the company's mission is to make the web more creative. Yo. Yo. Okay, so you saw a real snapshot there of all the different styles and designs that it can produce, which is, is insane. I definitely wanna go and have a look and, and play with this and, and certainly I'm sure you'd want to as well. But the key thing there, when that finished, it says start with AI. So again, this is suggesting that you start your website with AI. You don't rely on it fully for the end-to-end -end process, which means that you're not gonna become redundant as a, as a web designer. And I certainly don't think that we will do in the future either. Okay, this is still relatively basic. Although it's great, it's not really that far away from what we have with the likes of Squarespace or Wix. It's just almost pulling a variety of designs together based on a prompt and, and seeing whether you like it. You can change the font and the typography style with a click of a few buttons. Again, still very simplistic. And you can have it write your content and your copy for you, which is which is really awesome. Now, certainly I'm gonna dive into this. I'm gonna have a look and see what we can do with it and see whether there is even a place for this in my workflow or my business's workflow. But certainly this is very cool. This is very new, very different and certainly something to keep your eyes on to see where things are going with AI. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm certainly not concerned that AI is going to phase us out as web designers anytime soon. I think it's just something to be excited about and improve our workflow, improve the, the work that we're doing for our clients and improve ourselves as web designers. So yeah, hopefully you found that valuable. There's an end screen coming up with more videos that hopefully you will find valuable and interesting too. Go and check those out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.